In this video I'm going to talk about the stage image box element. Now in case you don't know how this element looks like just go to the home page and go to Kuma homepage. Also you can find it in elements, uh, stage and icon boxes. Now this the the element itself is this one uh, actually the uh, image now in case of course you're wondering what was this element what does it actually do well this um, this element is used in combination with an icon box element strictly in combination with a, a icon box element and which um, will provide a way to have some uh, describing uh, bullets with a tooltip. Now in this context right here as you can see the main focus is the image and we have some features which uh, will point to the exact location of the uh, bullet. Now I know it's a bit strange it's uh, uh, so, I'm sorry not strange I meant uh, um, there's a unique uh, combination between these two elements because they're different and um, they have to be used only together to make all this uh, stage thing uh, work so let me just uh, to take you also in this example as you can see here we have uh, some headphones and some features right here so I will just uh, start with uh, editing the page with a page builder and let me describe the uh, the stage a bit uh, now if you wondering well wait this this one has a background well uh, they're basically placed all the elements are placed inside columns and the columns are located into a section and you can edit the section and add any background color or background image or background video or whatever you can do pretty much a lot of uh, custom stuff uh, here so moving on uh, if we edit this uh, stage image box element you will notice we have uh, an ID provided now in case you're wondering well okay what this uh, ID serves me well this is to be used in combination with icon boxes to display associate associative points now you have to copy this uh, icon uh, this uh, ID and paste it into the icon box I will uh, explain that a bit uh, later. So you can first uh, choose the stage image. In this case we have some headphones and you can provide an image alt for of course for SEO purposes and then you can specify the points color. Now let me just choose I don't know, this green and finally we have the padding options. Perhaps I don't know you want to have a distance from the top or who knows I thought the I actually needed this uh, these two um, these two uh, settings because you can also have of uh, I don't know you could have uh, just uh, used the spacer element but I thought these two padding uh, options would be useful in various cases in my case I added a small distance here because I wanted to keep everything at the same uh, level so it's mostly for aesthetic uh, concerns now if I save it uh, I did I only changed the the uh, point color so it should become green now yeah it didn't I wonder why I think I have to refresh the page yeah I will publish this and refresh the, the page 
yeah, as you can see they have been added with a green uh, color so let me now edit the icon box and if you uh, if you already looked at the icon box uh, element video you will see that I will uh, uh, I will try to explain uh, this up, this uh, these options right here, but I won't. So I will just um, focus on the overall uh, options of the icon box element, which are a lot. This is a very powerful uh, element with a lot of options and customization uh, features. So I'm going to open the hover stage options and as you can see in this description use the, the the feature to display a target point onto a stage object element and first you have to create the element stage and customize it then copy the ID below now as a standard procedure you have to first select this uh, this ID this is a unique ID copy it and go back to the icon box element hover stage options and paste the ID here there's no other way you can uh, you can uh, achieve this uh, association so just paste the ID here and uh, that should be it then we have the point coordinates now uh, coordinates when I say coordin coordinates I mean X and Y X stand for uh, Verti uh, horizontal Y for uh, vertical so you can see in this description this will add an animated dot onto the stage image with the X and Y coordinates you provide so basically add uh, the coordinates in pixels it's very important you know they're uh, in uh, in uh, sorry in uh, pixels and in the order of X comma Y so as you can see here this point is uh, placed onto uh, 120 pixels from the left and 295 pixels to the uh, top so I'm going to just make a quick change I'm going to say 329 and 1 and 95 uh, pixels. I'm going to save this and you should see a change right here. As you can see the point has moved into the lo location you specified uh, in uh, this uh, in this field. So just I know it's a it's a tough job is not easy it, it, it will need some um, some uh, a lot of uh, saves until you find the uh, perfect uh, location but you can also try in Photoshop to see uh, to find uh, an example or you can simply just inspect the element and let me just close this one and as you can see I will I can hover all the elements in the DOM code and just simply play with these values right here you can add any left or right or no sorry not right just top and left uh, um, uh, properties so you can first try to play with these uh, these um, CSS uh, live uh, toggles so uh, it should be actually very easy so moving forward we have uh, after the point coordinates we have the point tooltip now um, I could have just uh, I don't know for example this one has high fidelity I could have could have just uh, cloned the high fidelity title but I, I thought that maybe um, people would want uh, I don't know first to not have a tooltip at all but maybe they want to have a different uh, um, tooltip there I don't know with multiple text or whatever you want so 
these are the only three options you have to customize. Now I'll try to uh, create a new element, new icon box, so I can uh, uh, add another point to this uh, stage. I'm going to copy this uh, ID. And I'm going to search for the icon box. Add it right here. And populate it with some content. Yeah, I'm going to choose a simple icon and I'm going to go to straight to the hover stage options. Now let me first paste the ID. I'm going to say uh, 53 with uh, 200, no, 380. It should be around here. Like I said, uh, 53 pixels from the left and 380 pixels from the top. So, like I said, around here, I think. And the point tooltip. I'm going to say some custom tool tip text and let me just save the uh, the as you can see the dot has appeared here so with the, the tool tip uh, I provided so this is the uh, hover uh, the sorry the stage image box uh, element if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me and if you have any troubles with the element uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to the support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one